Hi guys, this is Kim from Abundant Life Tarot and we are here doing our monthly love readings and this month for January 2018, so excited to say that, um, we are going to combine the singles and the couples um, because I found that it was just too complex for me to break it up by singles and couples as much fun as that was for me. It was too time consuming. And there's really no need for it because sometimes the readings that I would do for uh, the couples would kind of bleed into for what guidance I would give to the singles and vice versa. So um, we're going to combine it. And um, yeah, and then the other thing I wanted to say is a huge apology for last month's uh, videos because they did have poor sound quality. Um, now I have a new microphone, so hopefully the sound issues are all resolved. And what we will be now doing is monthly readings for all 12 astrological signs. And this will encompass um, the overall energies, your romance energies, your sensual sexual feelings and energies going on. Um, something that's impacting your love life for that month some romance guidance and then um, a closing card so it's going to be quite a bit of info packed into these videos so i think this format will work best for myself and for you all um, but let me know what you think um, in the comments below and so um, yeah if you decide later that you want a more in-depth, more personalized reading tailored to just you. You can also hit me um, at my uh, email or my other methods of getting in touch with me to have a private reading uh, because this reading is really just a general reading for the astrological signs. So uh, without much further along, here we go. Let's get started. Hello Sagittarians, this is for my singles and my couples and my male and females out there. We are doing your January love reading and right now we're going to look at the overall energies and romance and love for the month of January for Sagittarians. So Spirit, give us a couple of cards just giving us the overall energies that we're working with in love. Um, I don't want three, I want two. In love for our Sagittarians. And one more. One more, please. Okay, nice. All right, so for the month of January, Sagittarians, you're dealing with growth and you're dealing with peace and love. So there's going to be some growth for many of you, both in the relationships and the folks who are single. There's going to be a sense of personal growth within inside of yourself and growth within, if you're in a relationship, with growth in terms of the deepness of your uh, relationship with your partner and then growth for our singles in terms of honing in what really is going to work for you who you are as a person you just there you know there's so much growth there there's growth in other areas of your life so it's allowing you to be in a peaceful state to receive love and so for january Sagittarian singles will be primed for love because there's been a lot of growth that's happened over the past year in 2017 for them that now they are entering a peaceful state and when you're in peace that is when the best kind of love is able to reach you and you're able to receive it and be in a place of receiving it so that's a wonderful thing for our Sagittarian peoples I love that okay so let's look at the overall energies love energies romance energies from the celtic tarot and this was from the dear heart oracle 
Okay, the shuffle now. Okay, so we are looking for Sagittarians, singles or couples. Couple of cards. Couple of cards that help us understand what's going on in January for Sagittarians in the love arena. with a bunch of cards but we'll work with it the first card that jumped out was the five of cups or five of cauldrons and then we had a series of cards that jumped out so I'm going to I'm going to see here we have the two of swords We have the Ace of Wands, and we have the Page of Swords. So we have a whole mishmash of suits. We have the Five of Cups, and what we're dealing with with the Five of Cups here is we have someone who is looking off into the, you know, to the distance here crying over and well I shouldn't say looking off to the distance looking down at the fallen cups here right the spilt wine but not focusing on the rainbow that's coming over to this cup and the cu two cups that are still standing not looking at the abundance that's here in love and so some of you Sagittarians went through a period um, in your not so distant past where you were in a place where you weren't able to appreciate who you had in your life. That could especially be for our Sagittarians who were in a relationship. Or it could mean you had a partner, Sagittarians, who was doing the same to you. And so, you know, I get a sense that this is a past energy for many of you. Also for our single um, Sagittarians, I get a sense that, you know, you can't see the benefits of being single. You're only focused on why you're not in a relationship and it's starting to frustrate you. But the growth happens, right, for our single folks when you're able to celebrate the place that you're in right now, which is that you are single and the growth happens and the peace and the serenity happens when you surrender to what is. Because there is beauty in being single. There's fun in being single. Celebrate that. And for some of you, um, the Five of Cups could mean that, you know, maybe there was a, a partner who didn't treat you that well and so you've been focusing on that partner versus focusing on the options that are actually would really appreciate you you know maybe in the dating world there's a couple of people you know who are interested in you but you're so focused on who dogged you out um and over and over again or you're so focused over, over the person who you really had a crush on but now they're not giving you the time of day that you can't see who is standing right there near you. So the growth again happens when we're able to see the blessings of where we are right now. And for some of you, you'll be dealing with, you know, confronting with having to make a difficult choice. I'm not necessarily, I mean, I guess in love for maybe our single folks, maybe you're making a decision between remaining single or starting a new passionate relationship with someone. And the, the moment that you're able to make this choice is the moment you're able to walk into passion with this person that you are hoping to start something with. And for some of you, um, if you're at the beginning stages of a relationship, the Ace of Wands bodes well for the beginning of your relationship. That there is passions um, that are um, here right now and it it seems to suggest and um actually i guess portend or i guess foretell 
so to speak, that the relationship that is budding right now that you've made a choice to move forward with will actually have a strong beginning. And although for some of you, there may come some uncertainties with the Page of Swords, you, you know, have some reservations about moving forward with this new beginning with this person for some Sagittarians, you know, you're getting caught up in your head, worrying about um, past loves, worrying about if this is going to work or not. Relax, relax, move into a state of peace, meditate if you need to get back to just the basics. Okay. For our coupled Sagittarians, there's an even new beginnings of passion within your current and existing relationships. And, you know, it, it's having to contend these, you know, little moments of passion between you and your partner with also lots of moments of having to make decisions, lots of moments of having to kind of worry and fret over, you know, things that are coming up in your home, in your family. You have, you know, things that you have to kind of oversee. But you, at this point, just get back to peace. I think this card is saying that there will be peace towards the middle and end of January in love for you, but that this is also a reminder that you're going to have to do some work to get there. You're going to have to have moments of when you meditate on it, when you have stillness, when you think about, wow, let me be in gratitude. Growth happens when I can be in gratitude, when everything is in influx, when everything is busy around you. You can still be able to have peace and your love relationship will benefit for that, especially for our coupled um, Sagittarians. You will benefit from, you know, the gratitude for your partner. Peace will be there in your relationship. If by you showing the gratitude, by you feeling the gratitude, choose to have gratitude for your partner. Choose to have walk in peace, Sagittarians who are single. And then just as soon as you make that choice, in walks passion. And then yes, you may have to kind of come to terms with those new beginnings and passions that are being bestowed upon you and you're manifesting. But in the end, you'll be able to, to get there because the forecast is very good for you. Okay enough about that that was a bit much right because normally i do two cards but i felt like this was necessary let's look at some outsider inside influence for the month of january for sagittarians what far sagittarians will they be dealing with or need to deal with in january from the butterfly oracle Hmm, interesting. This is coming up with quite a bit for folks um, in January. And it makes sense, too. Emotions is coming up for Sagittarians. And then religion and spirituality. And emotions is coming up because, again, we have the cups here. For some of you, you may be actually going through a Five of Cups moment in January where you're just, like I mentioned before, you're actively going through those energies that I've discussed before in terms of um, dealing with, you know, not appreciating what you got left and that you're mourning what you've lost, but in that mourning, you're not appreciating what you have, and that is kind of keeping you in a stalemate. You'll be dealing with emotions, maybe past hurts here. And so for the month of January, take some time to meditate on that, to meditate on your emotions, gauge where you're at in terms of your current relationships. If you're single, see where you're at in terms of checking in how did you feel about those past relationships that broke up? 
you need to spend a little time thinking about that because you need to work through that before your new love flutters into your life like this pretty butterfly. And then religion and spirituality. For our coupled um, Sagittarians, some of you guys will be feeling a new sense of newfound spirituality, maybe starting a religious practice. So you, that will be something that will be in your relationship that you have to deal with, or perhaps your partner is starting a new religious practice and you will have to deal with that. You will have to make a choice on how you deal with that. You can have a new beginning with your partner where you have a new beginning with them, going to church perhaps, or maybe meditating together, or maybe going to yoga together, or going to a new kind of spiritual center together. Who knows? Or maybe you just, you're doing this all on your own, and this is now starting to influence your partner to do the same. January usually spawns a lot of people to analyze and think about their spirituality, their physical fitness, their love life. So this will definitely have a potentially positive impact on your uh, love life. And I say positive because uh, we have the Ace of Wands, new beginnings. And so this could very well be a new beginning for you. While for others, it could be a source of anguish. Um, it could be a new beginning, but it could be a source of anguish at times. You know, maybe it's, a, you know, someone who is going into a devout kind of um, religion or they've become devout and that could cause some some havoc in the love relationship for folks who are in relationships. Or perhaps maybe someone has fallen off course and they're not following their spiritual practices anymore. Maybe they're having a crisis of faith and that's affecting the relationship, whether it's you or your partner. For our single folks, maybe uh, this is a suggestion that maybe you need to check out your church or your local spiritual center um, because maybe there could be some singles events that you could go and be a part of. Not to say that you go to church to meet people, but hey, you could. And meanwhile, you could find your spirituality. I'm not recommending you, you know, do whatever religion. You do whatever religion you wish is what I'm trying to say. But... More importantly, focus on spirituality. Check within yourself. Journal. Tap into the essence of who you are for the month of January and beyond. There is a need for that for all of us, and that will only benefit your love relationships for now and in the future. So those are definite influences that will be affecting uh, Sagittarians for the month of January. And now let's look at the sensual, sexual energies for January for Sagittarians. Give us a couple, one or two cards to work with here. Okay, there is some nudity. If that's a problem for you, or if you're under age, under 18, please turn away. We have the Six of Cups. And we have the Mother of Cups, which is the Queen of Cups. So, again, a lot of emotional stuff going on because the Cups represents water. Water represents emotions, um, emotional intelligence, if you will. And... Um, for the month of January for Sagittarians, there's a, for our coupled up ones, there's a sense of um, nurturing with your partner. Perhaps, you know, in the past, like for December, you had a, a trying time, you and your partner went through a trying time. So now in the lovemaking arena, you guys are close, intimate, you feel like old times again with each other. It's a time of real connectedness real growth, real nurturing with one another. There's that give and take, that emotional connection, that emotional um, security, and that throwback of feeling like, wow, our love kind of has stepped back in time and we kind of did a reset and we have that passion for each other. You're, there's some nostalgia there. 
um, in your love making and connectedness. Um, and so that's beautiful. And then in terms of our single uh, Sagittarians, um, there will be um, a time for January where you will be dating someone who brings those nostalgic feelings up for you, where you're like, wow, this I feel a connection with this person. I feel um, like we like we've known each other before and like this feels good. Like, you know, maybe perhaps you've been dating people in the past that you weren't really emotionally vibing with um, and you weren't really having a lot of chemistry with. But this this particular person that has come into your realm or into your world is someone that you're connecting with. And that is a very positive thing in terms of, you know, having that sexual chemistry. And then for others who don't have anyone um, that's, you know, that you're playing with right now, that's fine. Um, this is just to, these, this is just to say, keep, you know, nurturing your sensual self, your, you know, take care of yourself in that arena as well. And you know what I mean? You know, there's something wrong with serving, serving yourself. There's also nothing wrong with, you know, giving yourself a luxurious bath from time to time bubble bath there's nothing wrong with you know going to get a massage take care of yourself take care of nurture yourself nurture your body because when you do that you're at your your optimum in in for your partner they will appreciate that and then you will know how to then be a wonderful partner when you're a great partner to yourself have a wonderful relationship with yourself, you're able to give that to your potential partner that's coming your way. All right, so now let us look at some romance oracle guidance. I'm trying to keep this not too terribly long. <laughs> Sagittarians. Okay. For Sagittarians, um, what comes up is reconciliation. Someone from your past is returning to your life. And trust. This situation is calling for you to have faith. And this is where the growth and peace comes in, right? Especially when we're talking about trust, Sagittarians. You're going to have to get to a place of trust, trusting the universe is unfolding the way, the, or or trusting that the things you want from the universe is unfolding the way it needs to in terms of love, trusting that, yeah, it was probably best that that relationship die. And, you know, even just being able to trust that your, your own intuition and trust that you're making right choices in relationships and in life. That just goes a long way and you need to have that faith. You need to have that trust in order to move forward, to work on your emotions, to work on um, connecting with your partner. We have the reconciliation card. It says someone from your past is returning to your life. And for some Sagittarians, this person could kind of wreak havoc in the beginning into the mid part of January for you because you're thinking back to that relationship with this person and wondering what could have been and saying, well, maybe I should have been with this person, but really the truth of the matter is it broke up for a reason. Okay. And the person that you're with now or the potential person that you have that's that waiting for you is the one that you need to trust and be with at this point. Okay. And for some um, Sagittarians, you're experiencing growth at the beginning and midpoint of January because you and your partner are able to reconcile after having a difficult time in December. Now you're moving in a place of reconciliation, which is peaceful, right? It's peaceful. And let's, I want to look at the guidebook on that 
for reconciliation. Sometimes the guidebook has some good advice here. Not sometimes, often, but I like to go off of my intuition too. Okay. This card indicates that an ex-lover may be re-entering your life. The first person you think of is likely who it will be. The purpose of this reconciliation is to achieve healing and closure with respect to your past. Growth, right? And getting peace. You will understand more about yourself and see your relationship patterns more clearly. You'll also take responsibility for the role you played in the relationship's drama, which will free you from the tyranny of unforgiveness. Reconciliations are ultimately about taking care of unfinished business. This card could also possibly mean making peace with a family member or friend. Each relationship is a sacred learning experience, so be open to this reunion's lessons and blessings. Ultimately, all healings help your love life in every other part of your world. And that's what we were talking about earlier. Like, and nothing but good can come from having that reconciliation for yourself, okay? And so that's probably why the Five of Cauldrons came up and why some of you are going to have to make a choice, an actual choice to to either try to start something up with a, that old partner and leave a new partner for this old partner or to choose the new partner and let that old thing be. Okay. All right. So let's take a look at how we can do the healing. Sagittarians. All right, Sagittarians. This is the Heal Yourself reading cards. I cannot shuffle these big cards, but I love them so. <laughs> Let's do it. What does the Sagittarius person for January need to know in terms of healing for love? Healing in love. Healing in their relationships or healing with themselves. What do they need to know? Hmm. I wonder why these are coming up. It's like I shuffle these good. It's so funny, like how universal themes or like I like to call major arcana moments for many of the signs are similar energies it's interesting we're all kind of vibing on the a similar frequency if you will what came up is take off your mask Sagittarians Choose to take off your mask and live authentically. Choose to have new beginnings in your passions because that's where, especially for our single ones, that's where you're going to have the more authentic connections with people. When you are authentic yourself, then you will in turn find authentic people or they will find you per se. And so, you need to take off your mask. And for the people who are in relationships and been in long-term relationships, you need to choose to... Sometimes we, we go through moments in couplehood where we wear masks and then we take them off. And we put them on and we take them off. Well, you're in a moment right now where it's time to take it off. You know, you probably had your mask on during battle last month with your partner when you guys were having more difficult times. But now it's time to take your mask off, time to be vulnerable, get vulnerable with them, show them who you are, you know, when you are being empathetic to what's going on with them, when you're being understanding, and in turn, they will show that to you, okay? All right, so let's just get a little bit additional guidance for Sagittarians. Is there anything else, Earthbound Oracle? That our Sagittarian friends need to know about love. Anything else? Hmm. 
Anything else? Is it just this one card? Three. Oh. Alright, so the first card that comes up is Wisdom, then we have Deceit, it's like a two-headed snake there, and then we have Ceremony. Okay, so use Wisdom, Sagittarians, you know, especially be careful about choosing, if you're facing a choice with a potential partner, you choose wisely and don't don't just look at things at face value really dig deep within and see what's really going on who's being this two-headed snake promising you one thing and then maybe coming up and going to bite you in the ass with something else right so look behind, look who look at their motivations and sometimes it's difficult to see people's motivations when you're talking about love motivation so to speak if someone potentially using you and then just coming back into your life or maybe someone who is from your past is necessary to come into your life to show you that the current person you're trying to be with is the two-headed snake so for some of you there is some it's spirit is asking you to use wisdom in this situation look at things in its entirety see where there's deceit and also for you to be mindful of not being deceitful to your partner. Because some of you may be in a situation where you are the one who's being the two-headed snake. And so you need to use wisdom because your partner will maybe be faced with the choice of leaving you. And you don't want that, right? You don't want to be, you know, the sad, forlorn person looking at how you lost someone and could have had... A, a, a wonderful relationship with them and then also because this is also a time of peace we have the ceremony card which i think is interesting you have like even crystals you have the either it could be a sunset or a sunrise and so for some of you this is the you know the ceremony of actually for some of you sagittarians actually getting married actually maybe celebrating an anniversary or maybe celebrating um, some other milestone in your life or in your relationship and you're you're marking that and it's a beautiful powerful time it's a time of reflection too and sometimes ceremonies cause us to do that right cause us to really take a look within take a look at what's going on around us and reflect and ponder and be able to grow from that reflection and then finally we're going to close with the white rabbit oracle some wisdom for that for our sagittarian friends in terms of love what wisdom do we have from the white rabbit oracle what wisdom do we have Okay, so the first card that came out was Dream. And I'm getting a sense, Sagittarians, that you need to follow your dreams. Um, think about who your dream mate is if you're single and really write it down, make it concrete for yourself. And then when someone comes up that's less than like your dream mate, yes, um, it is okay to compromise on some things, but remember, you want to grow and you want to have more of a connection that's going to be sustaining and long lasting so it is important that you pay attention to the details about who your partner is okay uh, follow your dreams pursue your passions because that kind of pursuits 
ignites passions in your love life. So new beginnings in love, but also new beginnings in your passions for 2018. What is it that's going to make you excited to get up in the morning? Think about that because it's time to work on that. And then shadow came up. And again, there's going to be some shadow work that needs to be dealt with. The shadow self. You know, what you know what we were talking about, the, the deceit there. Is there some deceit? And, and, you know, from there, what are you going to do about it? Hopefully it's not to the point where there's actually been some infidelity. But for some of you, this deceit could represent infidelity choices to be made in the relationship, whether you stay, whether you go. Um, but nevertheless, it's going to be dealt with. And then for some of you, you will be making a new direction direction in your relationship. You'll be moving either closer to each other or away from each other. Um, these have no heads. So some of you will feel like, I, I don't know what direction to go in, but just move into the direction that feels the best and is the is really the good for all involved right that's what you need to do move in that direction of what feels good what feels authentic all right well um wow i think that's it sagittarians for our reading our love reading for january um happy new year and i wish you um, nothing but lots of love and abundance uh, this year. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you want more of a private, more personalized reading, because this is a general reading, you can head on over to AbundantLifeTarot.com to check out some reading options. Or I have my Etsy store at Abundant Life Shop at Etsy. Um, so you can check that out as well. And again, I just want to wish you all a happy new year. Many blessings to you. Much love. Bye.